In today's video, I've got some quick one-minute style hacks to take you from sloppy to elegant without spending a penny. All you need is your desire to look stylish, maybe an extra minute or two, and a safety pin. With these easy steps, you will instantly elevate your outfit to a new level. Hello beautiful people, my name is Elena and I'm a professional stylist with more than 12 years of experience. By the end of this video, you will learn 9 practical style tricks, all tested and approved by my styling experience. These hacks require no extra spending, yet guarantee a 100% boost in style. Outfit 1, and this is something that I call the underlayer issues. So if you look at this outfit really carefully, you might notice something is off with the proportions. It's like the button down is too long, practically swallowing me up, and this wide, wide hemline cuts my body in half right in the middle. And I've got a really simple fix for this. So here's the trick. Take a small part of your blouse, especially if it's lightweight and flowy fabric right under your bra. Yep, it's that easy. Okay, I won't lie, maybe you will have to redo this procedure several times throughout the day because especially if the fabric is too flowy, it tends to slip out. So maybe you will have to redo it, but this is the easiest and, and no cost uh, way to fix this problem. Believe me, there were millions of times when my client or a style club member would say something like, huh, this shirt is too long, I cannot use it as an underlayer, maybe I should buy the new one. No, you don't have to buy the new one. You can work with something that you already have in your wardrobe. Use this trick and you can fix the proportions and you can elevate your style from something like slobby to absolutely elegant and chic. Now, the style trick number two, and this is something that we call the inverted V line, the power of illusions. So I take the same outfit one and I take the same style trick, the first one, when I uh, tuck the part of my fabric underneath the bra, uh, the part of blouse underneath the bra. And this is something that helps us uh, to create an inverted V line. This trick does wonders because this is something that makes your silhouette, and this is important, appear slimmer and more put together. This is such a very easy trick. The power of visual illusion. Create this kind of inverted V, uh, v line and you will look much slimmer and taller and whatever you want. It's these little details, you know, they're what elevate an outfit from just being a bunch of random pieces thrown together to something that looks effortlessly polished and cohesive. Not sloppy at all, but like you put real thought into it, okay? And it looks effortlessly chic. Outfit two, and let's zoom in on some crucial details before we hit the game-changing style tip. Yes, I'm gonna share with you the game changer today. So anyway, if you ask me, I can tell you that this outfit got a bit of a sloppy vibes. Seriously, this outfit has everything it needs to become the fashion forward, the best outfit nomination of the year. But you know, it's these little things, the details that kind of dragging it down. First off, let's talk tucking and style trick number three. Yes, it's so simple, but yet it's effective. Tuck in and roll up. Whether you go for a full tuck or half tuck or just the front tuck, it doesn't matter. Well, actually it does matter because it depends on your figure of your, uh, depends on your body shape. And by the way, this is something that we are going to teach you and to learn in the style club in the upcoming month. But this video is not about that. So here's the thing, pairing wide leg jeans with an oversized shirt, that double oversized look just ends up looking uh, sloppy because there is no definition. Believe me, this kind of a double uh, oversizing looks good only on fashion icons on Instagram if we're talking about real life situations. Like, it doesn't look that good, believe me. So I add some definition to my waistline to class it up a bit. And uh, I don't forget about rolling up those sleeves. Now, 
for the big reveal. And here we are moving to the most important part of today's video. So this is style hack number four, safety pin to adjust your jeans length. And all those extra super long jeans, you've been seeing them everywhere, especially on Instagram. And the most frequently asked question here, like, is it even possible to wear that long jeans in real life? So the answer is yes. You just have to know all those style secrets stylish people use. So all you need is just two safety pins. I am showing you right now exactly how to pin your jeans or pants to protect the hem and rock them like your favorite fashion bloggers. Just secure the pin from the inside, grabbing a small bead of fabric and boom, you'll see the difference. I'm laying out the before and after for you. This is how the fashion girls, Instagram girls are doing it. The secret is off. You can thank me later or better, you can share this video with someone who loves to wear long extra jeans or pants and yeah, thank me later. Just share this video. And the best part here is that you can adjust the length of your jeans according to your mood. Like for example, if you wake up in the morning and you feel like wearing heels today, you just take those pins off. And, in, and if you feel like wearing flats today, you just pin them on and that's it. You don't have to hem your jeans or pants. You don't have to buy the new pair. It's so easy. And guess what? I've got some game changer style lessons on how to mix, how to combine colors in the style club. So the style club is this awesome project we're running together with Diana Goss. Maybe you've heard something. This is my colleague and, and really good friend. So we are running this style, the style club project together. And it's been already a year since we started. And I can tell you that the success stories, the style journey of our members is just mind-blowing. I'm so proud of this project. So if you want to know something more about the Style Club, please find the link in the description box. You're so welcome to join our style community and our education slash fun slash style community project. Outfit three and style hack number five, the magic of creases. So this is our patient zero situation, clothes that are just worn, not styled. So I'm going to skip the repeat lesson on tucks and sleeves uh, rolls. Well, you know, the quick fixes for getting those proportions right. Yeah, style your clothes, not just toss them on randomly, okay? So now the key trick for this specific outfit, creases on your pants. It's more about the how than about the what. So how you iron them, your pants, I and mean, it makes all the difference. So lay your pants flat on a table to iron and you end up with creases along the side seams, which just makes them look flat and wider, okay? But if you iron your pants by folding them in half, now that's where the magic happens. It's like giving your pants a slimming effect because they don't look that flat anymore. They are more like 3D. <laughs> they look slimmer, okay? Sure, the difference might seem tiny, like we're talking tiny volume changes here, but trust me, the overall look is all about those little details that when added up, make a huge difference. It's those nuances that take your style from just okay to absolutely spot on. Outfit four and a style hack number six, which is using an earring as a brooch. So think of any pin earring, maybe a statement one that you have in your jewelry box that you can use as a brooch. So uh, what I mean here, look at the outfit four. We are on the same style journey here, going from just throwing on clothes to actually styling them. You've probably seen that old trick a million times where uh, you use a hair elastic to bunch up your sleeves. I won't bore you with that again. But the real trick and the real magic happens when we introduce some of the like small accessories, details, and this is something that I am talking about. Okay, so if you've been keeping up with me on Instagram, you've probably caught this trick a few times, but take another look at this outfit. A gold earring uses a brooch, acts like a brooch, and this is important bringing together the top and the button of my outfit. And these kinds of details that 
pull the whole look together, making it feel cohesive, elegant, and chic. It's all about thinking outside the box and getting creative. Your style should reflect your personality, not just like be about the clothes you wear to stay warm. And now back to the topic of this video. So uh, I've switched out a black uh, basic handbag for something a bit more eye-catching, a salmon pink one. And by the way, I have linked all the fashion pieces I'm using here in this video. I have linked everything you want to know in the description box. So again, no, no questions. We, you have all the answers in the description box. So here's a little secret for you. Colors work wonders seriously okay i know talking about colors can get pretty deep and serious i cannot tell you just throw some colors and you will elevate your look no it doesn't work like that because it's always about hues undertones and shadows it's not that easy but you just think a, a bit wider black back or just a basic wardrobe in, in neutral colors is not the answer to everything just think about that okay by the way i highly recommend you following me on instagram because this is something that i do on a daily basis so i post every single day my real life outfits and through the lenses of this like kind of get ready with me video, I share with you some of my professional styling hacks and tricks and knowledge in general and color theory, like everything which is connected with this specific today's outfit. So it's been, it's like a challenge and it's been already 70 plus days out of the 100 day outfit challenge. And I can tell you that the feedback from my community is like crazily positive and I'm so happy. This is something that truly makes me happy so yes if you think that this video is like super useful follow me on instagram this is something that will help you in your everyday style journey yeah the link is in the description box outfit five and style hack number seven brooch magic again but this time we are transforming your silhouette with an earring so here's another cool way to use earring to spice up your outfit Got another little style trick for you here. So the same earring, but this time as a brooch to transform my outfit from kind of shapeless to a more defined feminine X shape. So the original outfit is absolutely okay. I'm pretty happy with the starting point because I think it's cute, nothing bad here. But if you wanna elevate your style and give it some kind of a personal touch, this is what you wanna do. The tutorial is very easy. I'm showing you what you want to do with your brooch. And after I posted this outfit on my Instagram, I've got some comments, some questions. Like, do the earrings stay on securely? Could it fall off? So believe me, I want to answer here. Like, believe me, trust me. I've spent entire day out and about in this outfit moving like moving actively. I'm showing you my video uh, and nothing slipped off so okay maybe it all depends on the structure of your brooch of your um, earring but believe me in my case it worked perfectly i think that the key here just don't grab too much fabric you don't want to put too much pressure on it especially if it's uh, like knitwear or a lightweight fabric do that and everything will be just fine now, the last outfit for today and the style hack number eight, which is safety pin to adjust your silhouette. Okay, so here's our patient zero outfit. It's pretty basic, nothing special at all. And again, the double oversized dilemma. So we have wide leg pants here paired with an oversized shirt. And this is something that creates like a kind of a sloppy uh, vibe. But here's a quick fix. I take a safety pin and gather a bit of the shirt from the inside. This little tweak ditches the uh, oversized vibe. This is how it looks from the inside and this is how it looks on me. Gotta say I'm loving it. To be honest, I'd rock this even without layering it up. But the goal here, so for you to understand, the goal here is to craft a more polished silhouette and carve out an inverted V line, something that I have explained to you in the beginning of today's video, uh, which just stretches out my figure. Just look at the before and after looks, okay? 
And the last one, the same outfit and the style trick number nine, which is lightweight scarf under the blazer. Now, for another neat trick, I tuck my scarf under the blazer. This move cuts down on the bulk. Here's the before and after. First, how the outfit looks with the scarf, just casually thrown on, and then the neat tucked version. So, okay, I have to admit, your scarf needs to be thin and lightweight and fluffy at the same time to nail this uh, style hack, but I bet you have a list of scarves sitting there in your wardrobe waiting for their moment to shine. Okay, I've got another confession for you. So my loyal followers might have seen this outfit in my previous video. By the way, if you have missed this video somehow, please watch it because I've shared with you so many really effective and useful style tricks on how to style your wardrobe basics, your wardrobe staples in a modern fashion forward way. So please watch this video if you somehow missed it. But my loyal followers have seen this outfit in my previous video, so I am sorry for that. But I really wanted to bring all these tips together in one dedicated video so you have a special place where you can go to and watch watch it like the whole list of the style tricks and please share this video with someone who might be interested in this kind of information. And that's it for today guys. I hope I have inspired you to go to your wardrobe, grab some pieces and create something new. I hope that this video was useful. You know the drill. Follow me here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. I bet you would love my content there on Instagram and uh, see you in the next one.